You must learn how to move before you learn how to fight. Use the left analog stick to run. If you want to walk, push the left analog stick lightly. You can jump by pressing the X button. If you press the X button while you are moving, you'll jump in that direction. Now it's time for you to learn how to grab onto objects. If you touch a ledge or pole while you are in the air, you will automatically grab onto it. While you are hanging, press the X button to jump upwards. To drop down, press the X button as you push the left analog stick downwards. 
These are the most basic techniques in the game. Remember them. Now it's time to learn advanced jumping techniques. The first technique is the wall jump. In a fight, you can double jump off of walls to keep from getting cornered. When you touch any wall while you are in the air, moving the left analog stick and pressing the X button will allow you to control the direction of your jumps. Now let's practice the straight wall jump. When you touch any wall while jumping, quickly tap the X button without pushing any direction on the left analog stick to jump perpendicular to the wall. This technique is called the triangle jump. If your timing is good, you can scale towers like this one. The next technique is the swing jump. While you are hanging from a pole, push the left analog stick forward and push the X button to flip from pole to pole. If your timing is perfect, you will be able to quickly travel through the poles. You must practice these techniques until they are second nature. Now it's time for you to learn how to wall run. If you master wall running, you will be able to run in any direction on walls. When you first touch a wall while jumping, move the left analog stick in the direction that you want to go while holding down the X button. You will be able to run on the walls for short distances. This is a very practical technique that can be used anywhere. Now you will learn how to glide. When in mid-air, press and hold the X button to glide. Use the left analog stick to lean your body, left or right. This subtle movement allows you to turn in mid-air. You can only ride the winds for short distances, so be careful. Quest. You will face enemies that can climb, jump, and even fly. You must master these techniques if you hope to survive. You have done well so far. Now it's time to learn how to attack. We'll start with the basic fighting techniques. Press the square button to attack with your swords. Press the square button repeatedly to perform a series of attacks. All of your attacks can be performed while you are standing on the ground, jumping, or gliding. Now press the triangle button to perform a spin attack. This attack will hit everyone within reach and is most useful when you are surrounded by enemies. The spin attack can also be performed in mid-air and will slow your rate of descent. Next, we'll go over spell casting. In time, you will acquire an arsenal of both offensive and defensive magic spells. You can select the spell that you want to cast by pressing the select button and going into your magic select inventory. Press the circle button to unleash your spell. 
Every time you cast a spell, your magic gauge will slightly decrease. Conserve your energy and use your spells wisely. Your magic gauge will slowly replenish as you attack enemies with your swords. You can also find red orbs that replenish your magic gauge. Your survival depends on how well you master these techniques. Now you will learn how to perform combo attacks. Combo attacks, as the name implies, are combinations of different basic attacks. Combos vary depending on how you chain the attacks together. While you are fighting an enemy, press the triangle button to start a combo attack. Immediately follow this by pressing the square, triangle, circle, or X buttons to perform different sets of combo attacks. Press the square button to uppercut your enemies and knock them into the air. Press the triangle button to wipe out all enemies around you if you suddenly find yourself surrounded. Press the circle button to immediately unleash a spell. And press the X button to perform a thunder kick. First, master the basics. Then once you feel comfortable, learn the combos. If the timing of your button presses is perfect, you will hear this sound. Now it's time to practice locking on and evading. Let's begin with locking on. Press the R1 button to go into an attack stance. If there are any enemies nearby, they will become targeted. The targeting cursor will stay locked onto an enemy as long as the R1 button is being held down. Press the L1 button to lock onto a different enemy. The targeting cursor will switch enemies every time the L1 button is pressed. Got that? Now let's go over evading. With the R1 button held down, move the left analog stick and press the X button to evade. Move the left analog stick to flip forward, sideways, and backwards. Use these moves to dodge enemy attacks. Evading can also be used in hit and run tactics. Now go practice. Now that you know the basic fighting techniques, it is time for you to learn how to clash. You must listen very carefully. If you are attacked from the front, you will automatically deflect enemy attacks. If an enemy performs a series of attacks, the two of you will become locked in combat. This is called clashing. However, for every attack that you deflect, the defense gauge in the upper left part of your screen will decrease by one. Once this gauge is empty, you will no longer be able to deflect attacks, and your enemies will begin to hit you. If you can keep from getting attacked, your defense gauge will automatically replenish itself. While you are clashing with an enemy, you can press the square button to counterattack. Counterattacks are more powerful than normal attacks because your enemies will be off balance when you strike them. Press the X button at any time during a clash to dodge. This will give you a tactical advantage over your enemies when your defense gauge runs out. This is your only option. Keep in mind some of the enemies that you face will have special moves and counterattacks of their own. And some enemies are more powerful than others.
Mastery of clashing and counterattacking is crucial if you wish to defeat the more powerful demons. Now you will learn how to block magic attacks. This takes some coordination and timing, but if you master this, you can quickly gain the upper hand in a fight. Just like sword attacks, magic spells can also be received. Press the square button rapidly to absorb the magical energy. Just like an attack coming from a sword, the magic attacks can be countered. When receiving the magic attack, your magic gauge on the lower left part of the screen will flip upside down to represent counter magic. Any magic attacks that you absorb will increase your magic gauge. When the gauge flashes red, it means that your magic is maxed out. When this happens, you can press the circle button to blast your enemy with a single and very powerful magic blast. This is my favorite technique. It can turn the tide of a battle. Never forget this one. Now you will learn how to operate the camera controls. Move the right analog stick in any direction to move the camera. This allows you to look before you leap. A hasty warrior rushes to his own grave. Press the R2 button to position the camera directly behind you. Good camera work will keep you from getting ambushed and allow you to gain a strategic advantage over your enemies. Next is the radar display. Press the L2 button to display the radar at the top of the screen. The radar displays the direction that you are facing and shows the important items that you need to finish the level, as well as the level exit. The yellow dot represents one of these items. The blue arrow displays the location of the exit. If you ever get lost, the radar will help you. That is all. Do not forget your training. Now go, Lao. Go and fight! <laughs> 